Developed by Deck9 and um, published by Square Enix in 2021 for multiple consoles was that of Life is Strange, True Colors. The game focused on the main character of Alexandra Alex Chen, who spent a number of years in the United States foster care system on gets a chance to live with her brother, Gabriel Chen, in Haven Springs within the American state of Colorado, with the promise of a new life. Through events in the game, Gabriel is killed in a tragic accident, and Alex, with the help of Stephanie, Steph Gingrich, and Ryan Lucan become part of a corporate conspiracy within Haven Springs by the Typhon Mining Corporation. The player is given different choices as to try and get justice for Gabe, and see about starting a life in Haven Springs, or as a result of the circumstances in the game, choose to leave it. During the game, the player has a choice of either having Alex with a possible romantic partner or remain alone throughout the game's playthrough. However, if the player chooses to give Alex a significant other, there's the choice of Ryan or Steph. Online discussions had it that even though Ryan Lucan could befriend Alex or even become a possible romantic interest for her, it's a rare choice, statistically, for players to do. On most, overwhelmingly have Alex get into a romantic relationship with Steph or even choose to remain alone in Haven Springs. According to official gaming statistics from millions of people, who had played the game across the world. The percentage of people who actually chose to have had Alex befriend Ryan more than the defaulted choices was around 25%. And within that percentage, who had roughly decided to romance intentionally Ryan Lugan was around 15%. Upon completion of the game, our statistics of the game combined, speculation had it that Ryan was a legitimately good supporting character to Alex, but the vast majority of the gaming base preferred Steph as a close friend or romantic interest. Further theories had it that Steph was a returning character from the original Life is Strange story being that of Before the Storm, with a clear link being Steph from the original Life is Strange, with the pair in that game being that of Max and Chloe, some argue that it was only natural to have Alex with Steph due to the LGBTQ community as well as the premise of the Life is Strange video game series with couples of varying preferences. Others pointed to an in-game frog that also might have had players influencing their choice to distance Alex from Ryan through their playthrough in the fact that the game had Ryan cut the rope that essentially killed Gabe from after he was knocked unconscious during the rock slide. But Ryan mentioned that Alex was shocked by seeing Gabe hit by the rock and wouldn't have thought to cut the rope, because if Ryan hadn't cut the rope, his unconscious body would have pulled the both of them over the edge of the cliff into the ravine, because they were all tied together, which is standard procedure with rock climbing. The argument was that they didn't think Alex could get into a relationship, let alone an intimate relationship with Ryan due to that fact. Despite the fact that Ryan saved their lives, he essentially sacrificed Gabe to do so. Alex later mentioned those very details to Ryan soon after Gabe's death, and as a result of the circumstances for Gabe's death, Alex remained neutral to Ryan, whilst most players kept that neutrality between Alex and Ryan for the remainder of their game's playthrough, with the minority opting to either change the defaulted option to befriend Ryan or even have him as a romantic choice for Alex. Even others had Ryan with potential, but due to the premise of the Life is Strange series, having same-sex relationships, being that of Rachel and Chloe, or Max with Chloe, with a natural Alex and Steph pairing, nothing much could or would be done with a possible Ryan friendship or even partnership. Technically, the player would need to do a bit more effort to get Ryan into a relationship than on Steph, as she's naturally compatible and arguably fits better with Alex. 
The loss we all expect of discussion how did that with the ending that the player had the choice of selecting for the game, due to most players either preferring to have Alex in a relationship with Steph or Alex deciding to leave Haven Springs alone. The final cinematic of the game doesn't show Ryan at all or in a depressed state of mind. Speculation is out of that Ryan might have been too embarrassed to have remained in Haven Springs after Alex confronted Jed at the town hall meeting. On Ryan had heard the entire truth about the situation with Typhon, on had left Haven Springs rather than be known as the son of the man who had left innocent people to die. On the townspeople knowing that Jed was complacent with the corporate control of the entire town. Sometimes the card could be forgotten because they were intended to be a possible friendship or even romantic interest for another character, but at the same time, they weren't.